everyone zevi here again today with a brand new card review our second of the day there's gonna be one more later today so stay tuned but today in this one we're gonna go over apparently we're getting more secret support for rogue i feel like we're missing some key information we'll go over that as well as another priest legendary that is absolutely devious and um i think priest players are going to love it and uh, a lot of players are probably going to hate it, but I'm not sure if it's good. Anyways, we'll talk about that, as well as we have our give giveaway for Murder Castle Nath 3 going on. I'm up to three mega bundles now. You guys are making me go broke. Uh, two regular pre-orders. All you have to do is like and comment on the video in the description below. Subscribe to the channel. And if we keep hitting another thousand, we're up another hundred today. We will get another mega bundle added. There is no cap. So keep hitting that sub button, make me go broke. Like you guys are actually making me go broke. I love it. Anyways, so first card we have to go over is the Rogue Epic Ghastly Gravedigger. Four mana, or sorry, four mana. I'm thinking about Star Student Stelina, which is a very similar card, which is four mana, which I may have already made a sarcastic tweet about. Uh, three mana, four, three, that has Battle Cry. If you control a secret, choose a card in your opponent's hand to shuffle into their deck. So as I just mentioned, Star Student Selena, this used to be a legendary effect back in Skull Man's Academy. Dude, that, that expansion is getting power crept now. This it's been two years. Unbelievable. Um, I guess we kind of saw Skull of Gul'dan maybe being power crept a little bit, uh, but regardless, uh, yeah. So if you control a secret, you get to Look in your opponent's hand, shuffle a card back. Um, but Star Student, Selena, that card was four mana. It was a legendary. It had to be outcast to see play. This, you need a secret to be active. And while we don't have any rogue secrets in stand right now, we have absolutely none. So, yeah, I imagine we're getting some rogue secret support. And uh, in Wild, there are rogue secrets. There are have been two different expansions or uh, cycles of expansions where we saw secret support. Most recently, there's like Shenanigans, Shadow Clone, Plagiarize, Bamboozle, Dirty Tricks. Um, this saw play, but it was more with like the Shatter Jeweler Hanar package and Blackjack. Those were the big payoffs. Both got nerfed. And then we see um, basically the older, oldest stuff of like Ambush, not Ambush, sorry, uh, Cheat Death, Evasion, Sudden Betrayal. So Secrets and Rogue have been a thing before. Um, historically, they've only been good when they've been really obnoxious, but that's Secrets in general. Uh, when Shatter Jeweler Hanar had five health and Blackjack got reverted, uh, same thing where it turns... A minion to your opponent's hand which is definitely more powerful than this effect this effect isn't like <clears throat> it's not really the big payoff you're looking for in a secret deck it's not even really tempo like the big thing about secrets is typically you want tempo you want dis some disruption maybe a bit of value but overall disruption and some tempo and shuffling a card is a little bit because maybe you're you know you're hurting their curve you're hurting an answer but overall that effect just hasn't been great it ha even like coil thing constrictor which is almost a way of doing it too right it's a four mana five four that and disables your opponent from playing a card kind of like getting rid of the card, at least for a turn. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Again, we don't know the secrets. Maybe they're really good and you want to run Ghastly Gravedigger, but I can't imagine they're not going to make secrets because it's not that easy to burgle secrets right now in Rogue. Um, Wand Thief is gone. That would have been a way to do it. But right now, th there's got to be more secrets coming. So hard to evaluate, obviously, but I don't, I'm not sold on the payoff. I'm actually not sold on the payoff. But this means we have another specific build around thing coming in this expansion so many of them i think we're gonna have a video when we have a, a some uh downtime on this we'll probably uh have a video on this topic in the near future but overall i'm gonna give this a two out of five in standard wild even in wild where there's all the secret support it's not enough to warrant running it but maybe the secrets will be so good i'll want to revise this rating but for now um definitely not sold on this being that great now priest legendary time we already saw one that gives a bunch of stat bombs well this one was just revealed the harvester of envy three mana four three so whatever it's like normal stats but after you play a card 
copied from the opponent so you copy it through a thought steal and wild i don't think that's in standard anymore there's that one mana one one that can copy a card um hell mind render lucia can see play right you can use that you copy their hand know what happens when you play it you steal the original they no longer get the card you get another copy of it and you steal it so this is like really weird disruption if you can randomly yoink something good right or you copy uh, a minion on the board say you i don't, i'm not sure seance is any minion so in wild you seance a shutter walk and then um you play it do you steal their shutter walk right like um it but then they had shutter walk on the board but still my point being uh this is a really devious like style of priest card where it plays into their the theme of them copying and like burling cards similar to rogue they both both have had this mechanic well actually priest had it first with thought seal but regardless um it's really weird interesting um I don't think it's good. I really don't, but I do think it's a devious, evil pre-style mechanic, but I'm imagining we're gonna see more copy effects printed to go with this. Like, is there gonna be some more Burgle cards or whatever? Cause if you're looking at Priest and Standard, there's just not a lot that I can think of um, other than like copying their own minion and things like that. You have to play the card, right? Like it needs to be in your hand. So um, I'm expecting some support for it, maybe some burglish type cards. Um, there's just not a lot, at least, I mean, you got the caravan, you got the caravan that can add a spell from caravan's time to shine, ladies and gentlemen. You play this with the priest caravan, you have that spell to your hand, and then you play it, and then you, you get the copy of it. But this has to be on the board. Uh, this has to be on the board. It's an ongoing effect. So once it's dead, it's no longer getting that effect. But uh, yeah, I'm not sold on this being good. I just think it's really kind of fun. Fun design for one player, really mischievous for the other. Um, even Devour Mind and Wild, I think that's what it's called, where you, it's like a five minute thought steal. You can steal three cards and do stuff, but in Wild, obviously this is way, way too slow. Um, even with all the copy cards, maybe there'll be a card that just makes it totally worth it, or there's something I'm totally not thinking of. You can let me know in the comments below, but uh, standard, again really awkward it's a really awkward card it just refreshed did they change the card did they make it better no they didn't um yeah in standard i'm going to give this i'll give it a two out of five i don't think it sees play it feels like more of a meme to me it's a good meme and i'm going to tell this core to fork off absolutely but i don't see it as um yeah a playable card but I think players will have fun with it. And uh, maybe is that disruption thing. And yeah, and wild two out of five there too. Even with mind render, which doesn't steal your opponent's hand, you can now kind of really, really roughly unnerf Elusia. If you can play Elusia, or no, play Harvester of Envy, then Elusia, then steal the card. You can see how this card could be kind of awkward and why I don't think it'll be that great. So two out of five, Santa Wild, but curious to see what you guys think. Maybe I'm underrating it or maybe I'm overrating it at two. Anyways, I will have one more review later today. So stay tuned for that big arena reveal that's going on on Safe Files channel. So I'll probably be over there. You might want to hang out. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Have a great day. Stay salty, my friends.